All right, well, when you're the chief of police in a small town, you wear several hats. Well, the chief of the Glenwood Police Department in Iowa is doing just that. For 12 years now, Eric Johansson has been the city's top cop. But this year, he has a brand new challenge. We talked about it in this month's Coffee with the Chief. Um, what would you say is your greatest challenge right now as chief of the Glenwood Police Department? Fuel prices have thrown, I think, every department for a little bit of a loop when they yeah. double in price. It, it's definitely strained um, my fuel budget for this fiscal year, for sure. I'm concerned about next fiscal year that we may have budgeted too low. So has it affected how you guys do your job? We need to make sure that if they're not p actively patrolling, the cars are shut off and that type of thing. I mean, we still are going to go out and patrol. We're still going to run radar and do everything that we need to do. Right now you are experiencing or you have experienced trouble hiring and keeping police officers. Tell me about the challenge it has been for you recently. There has been a huge swing from when I first got into law enforcement where even a small town we'd have 30 to 50 applicants and now we have maybe 10 to 12, um, which is extremely concerning. It's hard for us to, we can't, I guess, compete with the larger cities. Um, an officer with five years on at, say, Council Plus would make almost $20,000 more than what I make as a 25-year veteran as the chief in Glenwood. And then I imagine it's frustrating when you do get good officers, you get them trained, you get them on board, and then they're plucked by the larger departments. It gets frustrating, but I've learned over the years um, you maintain those contacts. Okay. So we work extremely well with all of our surrounding agencies, Omaha, Council Plus, Pottawatomie County. So right now you're hearing about things that are going on in your middle school there. Tell me what's going on and why it's so concerning to you. Uh, currently we've had some issues with vaping um, with the middle school. We've had several citations we've had to issue this year. And I guess it really concerns me for how young the children are that are in the middle school and the fact that they're vaping and the impact that vaping has the amount of nicotine that's in each vape that would be influencing these kids so you're a chief and you're a parent of six so how concerning and troubling is that for you personally and professionally it really concerns me and we try to get the information out there to the parents that vaping is is a real concern um, the impact and addiction impact that it could have on these kids is unbelievable Scary, isn't it? It is very scary. Yeah. Your job is to protect the city and to keep everybody safe. What kind of pressure goes along with that? It can be overwhelming if you allow it to be, yeah. for sure. There's a, a lot of sleepless nights some days, and other times you, you're you confident that who you have working is going to do the right thing. Yeah. There's something that keeps you awake at night. Whenever we have large events going on, mm -hmm. um, that concerns me just with the current environment and how things have happened um, in other cities. Even though we're a small town, we've had large events like Ragbri and those type of things where that, those events concern me because it's a lot of people in a small area. And you're like, please everybody, just behave. Just <laughs> make it through the night. Well, during our conversation, Chief Johansson spoke very openly about how his job impacts his children. To hear our full conversation, go to 3newsnow.com and find the Coffee with the Chief segment.